GDC Global Maritime Crime Program tackles maritime crime across the globe by providing support to member states throughout the entire criminal justice chain, including detection, investigation, interdiction, prosecution, and imprisonment. In the GMCP Regional Team of South Asia, the Indian Ocean East Team, we work closely with our member states to provide capacity building activities in Bangladesh, Maldives and Sri Lanka. The Sri Lanka as an island nation, we have a major threat from, uh, from the sea because so many uh, illegal activities are happening. To counter those activities, we need to have uh, the support from regional countries and also like international organizations like uh, GMCP. One of the cornerstones of GMCP activities is our practical training for maritime law enforcement. We deliver interagency and regional training at established training centers in all three countries, Bangladesh, Maldives and Sri Lanka. Global Maritime Crime Program here in Sri Lanka uh, work with different agencies uh, such as Navy, Coast Guard, uh, Custom. DMCP delivers VBSS, Visit Board, Search and Seizure and PVST, Peer Side Vessel Search Training to maritime law enforcement officers in the region. All our practical training is delivered by full-time embedded mentors and expert trainers. The main role uh, that we're doing here is providing training uh, to the local agencies as well as international agencies from Bangladesh uh, and Maldives and also we have uh, counterparts coming across from the Atlantic Ocean and Pacific Ocean as well. This kind of training it provides more opportunities to deal with the things at the legal proceedings actually and uh, also by providing this kind of training it is a motivation for us as females so that means that uh, you consider us as a vital part of this law enforcement officers. In support of regional coordination and collaboration, we initiated an officer secondment scheme where maritime law enforcement officers are seconded between Bangladesh, Maldives and Sri Lanka. Currently, we have a Coast Guard officer from Maldives seconded to Sri Lanka to deliver VBSS training together with our GMCP expert trainer. The way we conduct the training and boarding operations and how to handle the evidence, these all things which is very new for me. So the way I'm conducting the training, it will benefit for me to conduct a training in Maldives. Maldives, being a country with a large maritime space, is faced with many challenges when tackling crime at sea. So for that, we have a numerous number of challenges, including uh, narco-trafficking, uh, illegal uh, immigrations. A key characteristic of GMCP training is to have interagency participation for our regional training. We bring participants together in the same training for them to exchange information, for them to get to know each other better and ensure that um, the response to maritime crime is articulated and coordinated between different agencies. The interagency collaboration is very vital because the customs only cannot monitor our maritime zone. UNODC has brought us together and then shown us how the international system works and then how interagency can collaborate and doing a far more better job than what we used to do. Bangladesh, due to its strategic location, is quite vulnerable uh, to various forms of illicit trafficking. It has a lot of rivers. It needs a specialized and uh, nuanced approach uh, to be able to uh, prevent and intercept uh, various forms of trafficking. GMCP pays attention to the context and challenges of the individual countries and therefore ensures to tailor training to the exact needs of our member states. The uniqueness of Bangladesh is its hundreds of rivers on which GMCP delivers targeted training to Bangladesh law enforcement on the sea or on the river, the drills and the, everything stays exactly the same. Our main concern is safety on, on board the, the vessels, safety of the crew, safety of the coxswain, safety of the fellow um, uh, seamen on the, on the rivers. GMCP is also working in the area of maritime domain awareness where we provide technical assistance and training to maritime law enforcement agencies. In addition to practical and theoretical training, GMCP capacity building activities also include provision of equipment such as boats, hardware, radios and comms and satellite imagery. 
The aim of our training is to improve regional information sharing and coordination. We need technology as well as some skilled manpower help. And they are also UNODC can help us, you know. So I would look for the areas of cooperation to be expanded as far as possible so that it serves not only the purpose of Bangladesh, but also the other coastal countries in the area. DMCP provides training to the prosecution on maritime crime through simulated trials involving prosecution and law enforcement agencies. The challenge we see in these uh, maritime crime cases and maritime pollution cases is as to how you preserve the whole justice chain. Because uh, sometimes the offence may happen in, within the Sri Lankan territorial waters, but you need to seek uh, mutual legal assistance from various other states. So this collaboration um, with UNODC GMCP uh, has helped us. The three institutes which are involved in a case need to put in a joint effort. So in order for us to achieve that, what UNODC did was conduct a training inclusive of prosecutors as well as uh, judges and law enforcement officers. After that training, we have seen developments in the prosecution as well as in investigations. GMCP supports the prison and correctional services in Maldives and Sri Lanka by providing training and mentoring for a safe and secure prison environment, enabling the rehabilitation of prisoners. The goal is mentoring. That is the main big picture. But to get the mentoring, we must have a roadmap. And the roadmap is to start by training of trainers. So such kind of trainings are very important for all the officers. We can have the international experience and the knowledge. So it, uh, it is very helpful to increase our rehabilitation system and uh, get to know prisoners' problems and uh, find the solution for all these uh, problems. In every training we do, it's all about human rights, how to solve situations with, for example, minimum use of force, but also to minimize consequences for prison staff and the prisoners. The Global Maritime Crime Programme is constantly looking to develop its programme and activities by identifying and addressing new challenges. There are further areas other than uh, direct maritime safety and security that UNODC can collaborate with. For instance, maritime crimes relating to uh, fisheries, fisheries crimes. So these are some of the newest activities that uh, we are uh, working with UNODC uh, in Sri Lanka. And some of these programs are also bringing in other international partners, bilateral and multilateral. In ensuring a safe and thriving environment for our communities in the region, GMCP Indian Ocean East team will continue to work with our partners in tackling maritime crime.